Hey beauties. So I wanted to come on here and show y'all my holiday binder that I have, my holiday budgeting binder that I have for 2023, y'all. Now this is a DIY, y'all. I use the stuff that I had. I think I just went and bought a couple of car stock stuff, but everything else was stuff that I already had at the house, y'all. Please bear with me, y'all. This is nothing fancy. It's just what I put together to help me budget for the holidays. Now, when I talk about the holidays, the 2023 holidays, I will be talking about Thanksgiving and Christmas, okay? Uh, we usually do Halloween, but my daughter told, my youngest daughter said that she didn't really want to do that, so we're not really going to focus on that. Um, we're just going to focus on Thanksgiving and Christmas. So let's get right into it, y'all. I'm just going to show you how I will be using it, but I will actually be stuffing this like every month. Actually, I will be stuffing this every month. Um, I don't know if it's going to be on this channel or another channel, but I just wanted to show you real quick what this looked like. And remember, y'all, this is DIY. This is what I wanted to do. Um, and I'm preferably just going to get better at it uh, for next year, okay? So I'm just trying to see how this all going to work out, okay? But enough of talking, y'all. Let me show y'all. So it's just in an A5 binder. It's an Agenda 52, which I've been had for I don't know how long. And I just love the pattern on this. So I said I'm just going to use this because it could. it's kind of like for Thanksgiving and Christmas, in my opinion. Okay? All right, y'all. So let's just get into it. Okay. So here we go. I hope y'all can see that okay. So uh, real quick, what I just did, I took a cardstock right here for the background. And I just folded it up for it to fit up in there. And I just taped the back of it. Because, just in case I want to take it out because I might get what I just want to, you know, trade it out. So I just put tape in the back and put it in there. Okay. And then these are just um, some inserts that I did. This is a holiday update. And as y'all can see, this is for Thanksgiving. And then I flipped it over the back. This is for Christmas. And then these are just some inserts that I use just for to jot something down. You know, if I need to jot something, if I want to like remember something, like don't forget it. Okay, so I just keep these back here, and then these right here are just um, what are these things called paper clips that I just made. I just took some ribbon that was on sale at Hobby Lobby, y'all, and I just glued the back of it. And then this was actually a Christmas ornament that I did. Um, this was a felt uh, little sticker like thing that I used for this right here, and then. I used some stickers that I got from uh, Hobby Lobby. And this one has a back. Now, those back there, they don't have a back. But this one, it has a back with the same thing. So, anytime I need to use a paper clip, I use that. These right here, just reindeer stick. I mean, Rudolph stickers that I liked. And then back here in the back is just a card stock that I just cut to put like as a background. And this right here is representing me, y'all, from a stick up, sticker book that I have. Like, girl, just relax during this whole holiday planning. <laughs> and then this is the same pattern that's right here, y'all, that I just put in there. And it was a gift bag tag. It just says grateful, thankful, and blessed. And then this is just a, um, like a bookmark that I'm going to use. It's just, um, you know, Christmas is the tree right here. And then the orange is representing uh, Thanksgiving. It's just going to help me go back to whatever I need to go back to when I'm actually working in this planner. Okay. And then these are just clear, um, like envelopes that I used. I'm using them as, um, dividers right now. Now, if I want to decorate them or something to put stickers on them, I will. Okay. And then since we really don't need a lot of stuff for Thanksgiving, I'm going to use this savings challenge to stuff this envelope that I made. And it's just, like I say, y'all, it's just card stock that I did. I'm going to use it as an envelope and I just put the money in there like that. Okay, and then I had gave one of my um, friends a card and I said, oh, I like this. So I'm going to get me one and I just cut it out and use that. And this right here, I had wanted to put some pink inside of this, but it's not very much pink in here, I don't believe. But it, it's a little. So this is just a gift bag that I had and I just taped it on here, y'all. It's like a dashboard. Okay, and then, like I say, this is a budget binder. So whatever money I'm going to use to stuff in here, I'm going to put it in here. And then the back of it, and I just glued these together, is a the envelope. And then inside this envelope will be the money that I actually take back to the bank. 
because as I put money in here, I'm going to keep updating it with uh, expense trackers that I have, but I'm also not going to keep all that money in there. So I will just, you know, use these placeholders to represent what I have in here. Okay. So I know that um, one part is like this part is to stuff the binder with, when I put money in here. And this is the part where I take it back to the bank. Okay. And y'all, like I say, I've used this. This is a DIY. I've been had this planner and I didn't want to get rid of this. It says faith, hope, and love. This planner belongs to, and it'll be me. Y'all just haven't wrote my name in there, but, uh, this is what it came from. Okay. And then right here it just says Merry Christmas. Okay. And then we actually get into the budgeting part. So as y'all can see, um, I have tabs for everything that I want to, um, use let me scoot y'all down a little bit okay so the tabs this is for beauty so we usually get our nails done and uh, our hair done around christmas time when well, my daughters do i just get my nails done and i have a savings challenge for that so whatever much so this is three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen eighteen so if i wanted to save 180 dollars, i have 18 of these so that'll be ten dollars right y'all ten dollars each time i uh, do this so that's how I got it broke down. And this was just a card. I had went to Dollar General, no, Dollar Tree after Christmas, and they had sold me all these cards for 25 cents. I thought that was so cute. And then on all the backings, y'all, so I could bring in Thanksgiving, I brought in like a pattern that like represents Thanksgiving. And as y'all can see this purple right here, I told y'all this was like a DIY. This was something that I already had. And if you know anything about Agenda 52, I wish I could show y'all that... Um, Matter of fact, y'all, hold on. Let me go show you real quick. Okay, y'all. So this is the Agenda 52 that I was talking about. These are the patterns uh, that I have that I've been using. Let me see if I got an envelope in here. I don't think I do. I think I took them all out. Oh, here goes some right here. So this is the envelope that I just covered up, y'all. These are some of the ones that I just covered up. Okay, y'all. So let's get back into it. So next category is budget. And right here, I just made an insert where I can just write down whatever I want to, you know. I'm working on that right now, y'all, uh, to figure out what the budget is. Okay, and then this is the back end of it. And then this is just a uh, Thanksgiving card I had that's acting like a dashboard. Okay, and then we have the Christmas candle sale. They have a Victoria's Secret. And I don't know if I said it, but I also have expense trackers in all of this. Okay, there's my tab for candles. And then I made a Victoria's Secret uh, envelope. I, you see how that is just the tissue paper and then I cut the bag. See the back of it? Because um, I also get a lot of stuff out of Victoria's Secret, y'all. And I had actually forgot about that last year when I did my budget, so I didn't want to forget that. Okay, then we have the gift section right here. And then, like I say, I have the expense tracker in there. And this is the um, the savings challenge that I'm going to be doing. I just haven't figured out what each one of these gifts are going to equal to. And I'm also going to use the tree itself to save money. Okay, and then we have Christmas off work. This is another Christmas card, y'all, that I have for $0.25. Cents. And I, this is the savings challenge that I'll be using. And then this one right here doesn't have a back... Um, for the money. So what I did was I made the actual envelope, which I can't really show y'all right now, but if you look at how I'm doing that, that is a, it's a, you know, I have it where I can put the money behind there. Okay. And then this is the back end for this just says a uh, happy Thanksgiving. It was a card that I had. And then if y'all caught one of my other videos, y'all know that I had the Grinch for my, uh, hot chocolate bar that I did. So I just wanted to bring that in again because I just bought it this past year so I'm gonna use it again and I have a, um I should have yeah here it is expense tracker in there as well so I just figure out how much I want to save and divide it by however many cups and save that amount okay and then we have another pretty Thanksgiving thing on the back and then this is for holiday fun you know like Going to see the lights, uh, take my daughter to see the lights. Uh, they might want some hot chocolate somewhere else. If I don't use the Starbucks um, thing, they might want some ice cream. You know, just whatever, ice skating, whatever they want to do as holiday fun. 
Okay. I love this one. Okay, then I have the Christmas uh, decor inventory. So what I need to do is I need to go check in my garage and see what I have, y'all. And then I write it down, the main stuff. And then right here, I have a savings challenge from one of my friends. Um, and I'm just going to use this savings challenge to save however much money I think I need. You know, whatever I'm lacking for my Christmas decor. Okay, and then I have the Christmas dinner ideas. Now, I just wanted to, um, and I also have a savings challenge back here for that as well. So, we will get right up into Thanksgiving and be like, we don't want that. You know, for Thanksgiving, we usually do turkey, dressing ham, and stuff like that. And then we might get up and say, well, we don't want that for Christmas, you know. So, I'm just going to try to write down ideas, like different ideas of what we can have, Okay. So that's the Christmas dinner. And y'all, I made all these inserts and stuff. Like, if they like this, I made them on Canva. Okay? And then I have, um, this is another car, y'all. Uh, December Bella Head Tracker. So what I want to do is be able to be able to pay all our December bills before December. Okay? Not including the mortgage, though. Unless, you know, we can. That'd be awesome. But this is a tracker for that. Okay, and then the money will just go right up in here, y'all. See, like I told y'all, I need to um, use that tacky glue to put that down or some tape or something. Okay, so then we have Christmas travel. Now, my daughters haven't decided, my, me and my husband haven't decided if we want to travel or we want to stay here. So, if we travel, we will use some of the money, like the gifts and stuff. Because I told my daughters, if we travel, then that's going to be y'all gifts, you know. So, we will use the money and like the gifts and whatever else to put in Christmas travel, but I'm still going to save for it. I also have a tracker for that. Okay. And then right here in the back, I have um, a mystery challenge for extra, anything that pops up that I may have forgot. Then I just have an envelope. And then this is a scratch off that I'm also going to be using for extra. Okay. And then this y'all, I'm trying to go fast. So I won't hold y'all up. So, if y'all been following my journey, sorry about the shaking. Y'all know that last year I had, my husband is into Dragon Ball Z, so I had bought him a little bank from Hobby Lobby, and I had filled it up with money. If you haven't seen that, y'all, check that video out. So, this time I just got this card. Like I said, I got this from a Dollar Tree for 25 cents, and I just made this out of an envelope. So, I will, and his money will go straight into that. You see that? That's the envelope I have. Okay, and then it's a savings challenge right on the back. So hopefully I'll be able to save $400 and that'll be his gift, y'all. Okay, and then I have for my daughters. I have three daughters, so I made this also out of a, a envelope. And I have three savings challenges up in here. Each one of them is $100. So it's not their gifts, but just like if we do something different, you know, they, want, they decide they want to do something and I need some extra money, then that'll be there for that. And then this is just two other cards that I just made out of envelopes. I thought they were so cute, y'all. So I said, maybe I'll just put some money in here for myself or something, you know? But yeah, y'all, so that is my holiday budget binder. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Like I say, y'all, it was just a DIY. It's like a, a, a starter for me to figure out, you know, if this works for me and um, if I'm going to use it for next year. But I love it, though, you know? I always say, as long as you like it, it worked for you, then go with it. But anyway, y'all, let me know what y'all think down in the comments, okay? And also, like I say, I will be stuffing this every month. Lord say the same, for the holidays. Like, I'm starting now, y'all. I know a lot of people wait and start, like, in uh, November and stuff, but I need to start now in January. All right, y'all. Have a blessed day.